Knock, knock, knocking down heaven's door. Hey, 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 yeah. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Oh. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Bomberman here. I'm Silent Series 09. I can't sing to save my life, but I like to try. So, let's go to Heaven's Sky, shall we? And. Do, 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 I'm excited. I'm so excited I got the claps and rub my hands together. The Bummer Chats. Here we go, guys. We're going into heaven. Let's do this. Do do do. Back it up. Kill everything in sight. Gotta get all the power that lies hidden in this amazing, amazing place. Okay, I gotta stop. We're gonna freaking come up with some more lyrics that are probably like ear crunch or ear wrenching and otherwise shouldn't be there, you know? So, welcome to Heaven's Sky. I really, really do feel that this... It's a tie between this stage and Million Road that just really wallifies me. Because this is... I think this is actually the last, if not one of the last, Bomber Jet levels. The last Snow Slider level we have was actually going to be our last Snow Slider level. I know, I'm so heart... I sound so heartbroken up about that. Yeah, I'm glad we done that crap, man. Ugh. I don't know, maybe maybe if I actually tried snowboarding sometime, I have would have an appreciation for it. Yeah, speaking of which, I did not know that you could do this. You could actually destroy these guys. The tops and top or bottom or both. And you could actually make this so much easier on yourself. I wish I had known that from the beginning, because otherwise I would have you know, I would have taken a lot less damage, I feel like, and we would have probably proceeded through this a lot quicker. But, you know, y'all know me. I, I, I learn about things too, a, a little, too little too late, I guess is the way to describe it. Man, I'm just stuttering today. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm shaky. Like, <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, I have this. Gimme, give gimme. Give Yay, okay. Somewhere around here, there's like, there's going to be a point where you warp, actually. Ouch. Figures I would hit that. And it's going to be really bizarre, because it's like, you, you don't even see it coming. And that's what makes this level to me like really awesome because it like it has its own warp actually, and it also has these ball and chains. I don't know what it is about levels with ball and chains, but they just really get my blood boiling. Like, ooh, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, yeah, here it is, right here. I pretty much I think that's like an alien transporting us here, or like we're in some kind of ancient ruins, and somehow that mystical rock was magical and like teleported us here. I don't know. I, I couldn't make heads or tails with it, but. I thought it, it looked pretty cool anyway, I'll say. Oh, gee, hello. Back it up. Can we... Can we... Okay, I guess we're not gonna get that. That's fine. Ooh, nice. I just got an extra man. Sweet! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away, dude. Like a dummy, I missed that completely. Alright, let's see if I can't, like, finagle and finesse here. Because I know I can get some of these, like, really, if I'm... If you keep backing up, you know... The problem comes in when you're trying to, like, gauge depth of perception in, like, how far back can you actually go and pick up something, you know? Right, we gotta be careful, because if I... I'm about to die here. Ooh, that's not good. Gimme! Yes! Alright, cool. Now we just gotta get through this crap here. Uh, yeah, I don't care if I missed all that, but that's fine. Oh, pfft. It take damage from the laser. Of all the things, man. Alright, well, I'm gonna obviously go right, because I need the heart, man. Because we actually have a little bit more of this level, too. By the way, do not forget to come down here in the middle. There is an attic bomb right there. And please don't... Okay, yeah, you just go away. Alright, so. Welcome to our boss. Yes. Two-headed lizard, who kind of reminds me of a green version of Hydra. And his weakness is basically... Uh, as if it weren't obvious enough, a little blue hexagon... Or not hexagon, pentagon in the middle. That, for whatever reason... It leaves unprotected. Additionally, if you damage it, it for some reason does the roar that Bulbin does. Whenever he's trying, whenever he does that like breath attack on you, I don't know like exactly what they were thinking when they made this boss, but they just—he is quite memorable. In fact, it could actually be like one of the guardians, so to speak, of the planet. I guess that's—I have actually—I maybe spoiling something here. I don't know, or maybe I'm just like theorizing here, but. The bosses we've fought so far, Indul, 
Baruda and Mulben. Those guys are kind of like like the big guardians, the Dark Star guardians or something of each of these planets for the Garrett Empire. So I don't know. Maybe this would this guy would have room to be there. Oh, killed him. Nice. Dang! And it was over 10,000! Woo! Yeah, we really kicked some booty. We knocked on Heaven's door. We slammed the door down, man. Heck yeah. Alright, so on to a level that's otherwise not as fun. Ice Snake. It's a little trippy, actually. We got all these platforms with rainbow kind of splooshies. Splooshies. What the heck are splooshies, man? Is that like a... Is that like a freaking... What's the word I'm looking for? I can't even think of it. It's basically where you dunk. It's where, basically where a bully dunks a person's head into the toilet and flushes it or something. Swirly. I think that's what it is. Maybe it's a swirly. I don't know. Heck, if I remember, man. I, I haven't been in school for so long, or I haven't watched like a cartoon or a reality TV show that involves school environments, where basically they, you know, it's where I can actually learn that. Are you guys trying to kill me? Yeah. Anyway, I should probably shut up and explain these. These guys here, these are actual enemies we can destroy, and you do need to destroy these snakes. Problem is, is because they're in the air, and they taunt you, they're so evil, they're like... <laughs> they do this little spinning motion, and then they just laugh at you, because every time you try to hit them, you know, it's like you fail, practically. I'm probably going to die here, so that's alright. In fact, you know what? Yeah, yeah, there we go. I was going to jump off, you weren't going to kill me. Because I need full energy for this level, man. You can still do this if you only have four energy, but it's still a pain in the butt. I still remember being little and trying to do this level. Oh my gosh, I was- I got so angry at this level. I think I actually got so angry that I ended up yelling, and then my dad's like, You better calm down now or you're gonna turn the game off! You know, I was like, okay. You know, I was like, I didn't want to quit, man. I, I was this close to beating the game, getting all perfects. I wanted to- Okay. You know what? I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna play around with you. You- 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 you are dead. You're dead to me. Oh! Oh! Oh, I see. God, these guys... Oh, this is like facing a fast-paced character in Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS or the Wii, and they're sitting there taunting you because they, you can't land a hit on the, on the person. But then when you finally do and you actually KO them, then they get all ticked off and start moving like a maniac all over the place trying to kill you ten times over. Like, seriously. As soon as I, like start landing hits, these guys are gonna, like, go super hard on me, or super saiyan on my butt. Man! Y'all just quit... Quit double penetrating me, man. You need more lube if you're gonna do that crap. Seriously. I, I, I'm a little nervous, y'all. Y'all y'all gotta understand I'm a virgin. I gotta do it like a virgin. Ooh. Oh, did I just... Yeah! Alright! Sweet! Kill them! Nice! One down. No, I gotta get this turd over here. Come on, Salazar, Salazar Slytherin. It's time for you to go down. I don't even know if I said that right. I haven't watched Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets probably for about two years. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I remember when we had to do these accelerated readers or AR points. And a little trick, a little sneaky trick I learned when I was a kid. I actually learned this from one of the people that actually likes reading books. She basically said, hey, if you need 10 extra points, all you gotta do is watch Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and the questions they ask you are almost identical to the book. Or, or are almost identical in the movie as they are in the book. And I'm like, sweet, really? Because she's like, yeah. So I did that, and I ended up actually earning 10 extra AR points. And I was like, yeah, all right, now I don't have to sit out at recess. Because that was like a thing in elementary school. If, in one of my classes, in fourth grade specifically, if you didn't earn enough AR points or accelerated reader points for reading books and then taking quizzes on them, you know, from co they were comprehension quizzes usually, um, then you would have to sit out at recess and read books. And obviously none of us really did that. We were like, ah, oh, we don't want to do that. So we just pick at, the, pick at the gum or pick at the wood that's on the picnic benches and just kind of like hope to pray in goodness that the day ends finally because, you know, we're bored out of our mind. The last thing we want to do is read, you know? Like, what? Read? So we can get the points and actually go to play? Go play? What is this? Did that, that, that actually makes sense. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Hey, that's a good question of the video. What are some typical habits you guys had to deal with when you were in when you were back in elementary school? Not middle school or high school, but way back in elementary school. And if you're in the, in elementary school right now, let me know in the comments, what are some typical 
routines that you find yourself having to do, or some things that you're like, oh, I hate having to do this, but I gotta do it, because otherwise I get punished for not doing it, you know? Punished for being bad. Punished for being smart? You're being a smart aleck! Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's as far as I go, actually. I, I was like, do I remember more of that line? No, I haven't watched Matilda in forever, so I don't actually remember it. I would say, oh, I'm gonna just put a clip there, but I'm like, trying to find clips of movies sometimes is really hard. And believe it or not, guys, I actually can't record. I have the movies, you know, I have the movies to record from, but my capture card for some reason has like a protection on it to where basically, and it's, it, uh, for those who don't know, I have an Elgato. They have like a protection on it to where I can't record movies or DVDs or anything. It's like, oh no, that's we, we can't do that, that's copyright, we can't show what's on screen. And I, I don't know how they programmed that. Am I missing You know what, let's go. Don't, don't play around, just go. Yeah, that's what I thought, we're good. But yeah, with Forks and Knives, Forks and Knives, my capture card won't let, actually prevent you from uh, recording videos or taping or anything, basically, which is kind of lame, because it's like, what if I'm like on the go and I don't have like the DVD with me, you know, it's like me and... You know, I mean, I know that's like, that's to prevent, you know, copying a movie or whatever, but still, it's not like I'm gonna, like, do that and start making money or sharing it with everybody so somebody loses profit, you know, that's just me, though, personally, but whatever. Anyway, guys, I'm rambling here. Thank you all for watching. Love you all much. Just please don't tail swap. And, uh, yeah, I guess we didn't have to fight Nitros. Surprise, surprise. Oh, well. In the next part, we're gonna go to Area 3. Looks like a giant igloo made of metal. Should be fun. Fun times, fun times ahead. Oh, yeah.